Hello everyone, this is my video on finding the last two digits of a number and in this video we're going to look at a very specific number which is going to help us to find the answers very quickly and it is just about the property of a particular number which fascinates us so much and for us to understand and to make these questions very simple. So let's get started with our video. So firstly, uh, I'll take a particular number and I'll say how it naturally works. I'll explain you about a particular number which we are, which will help us to solve this topic very easily. That is 76 is that particular number. So when I take 76 and I multiply it one more time with itself, that is 76 into 76, my answer is 5776. So what is so fascinating is I've used 76 here, I multiplied it with 76 again. So I've got the last two digits as 76 itself. So which means when I multiply two times 76 twice, I get the last two digits as 76, ending with 76. So what happens if I multiply it thrice? That is 76 cubed. When I try to find the answer for 76 cubed, my answer is 438976. Again, it's ending with 76. So let me get it, uh, make it even more better by multiplying it four times. So when I multiply it four times, again, the value is 3336176. Again, it's giving me the last two digits of 76. So from this, we could infer when a number is ending with 76 or if a number is adding 76 in it and when we square it or cube it or make it four times, multiply it four times or five times or six times, the last two digits remains as 76 itself. So that gives us a very clear indication that any number of times when you multiply the number 76, the last two digits will still be 76 when you multiply 76 with itself. So let's make it, okay, does it work only for 76, 0, 76, only for 76 for a two-digit number or it works for three-digit numbers as well. So we'll start doing it for 176, 176, 176 square. When we try to find 176 square, what do we get here? So when we find it 176 square, our answer is 30976. Again, it gives the last two digits as 76. Again, surprising because the last two digits stays, stays as 76. One last try for us to find another number, 476 square. When we try to find the square value of 476, our value is 226576. Again, it's ending with 76. So from this, we could very easily understand that when a number is ending with 76, how many ever powers we give it to it, the last digits remains as 76 itself. So when it stays as 76 itself, that very easily helps us to find a square, I mean, find the last two digits of a number very easily. So let's try to find the other number, I mean, the other property of 76 now. So the other property of 76 right now is when I multiply 76 with any number that is divisible by 4, for example, I multiplied with 24. So when I multiply 76 and 24, my answer is going to be 76 and 24, my answer is going to be 1824. So it's giving me the answer as 1824. So again, so when I multiply 76 with 24, it's giving you 1824. Here, when I multiply 76 with a two digit number, and in this two digit is should be divisible by 4. If this two digit is divisible by 4, when I multiply it with 76, I get the last two digits as the same number which you multiplied with 76. So this is a particular property that 76 carries. So we'll try for another number as well. 76 into 64. So again, 64, when I multiply with 76, I get the value as 4864. 4864. Again, this is a property wherein we have the last two digits as 64 and we've multiplied 76 and 64. I've get the got the last two digits as 64 itself. Now, I'll try it with another number that is like if I add another digit to it, 176. 176 into 48. When I multiply 176 and 48, the value is 8448. Again, it's adding value to it because the last digit stays as 48 itself. So now what I could say is when I multiply a number which is ending with 76 with a number which is, with a number which is divisible by 4, 
I get the same two last two digits, same two digits as the last two digits of the number itself. So which can definitely help us in finding the last two digits of any number. So with these two properties of 76, we are going to solve some questions just to make our life easy and how best we could, we could see how best this can help us to solve the problems. Let's get started. So let's get started with the question. The first question is 2 power 148. So find the last two digits, last two digits of 2 power 148. So last two digits of 2 power 148. So how do we find it? 2 power 148. So all we have to find is, I know something about this, that is the value of 2 power 20 is 1048578. The last 2 part 20 ends with the last two digits as 76. That is the value of 2 part 20 is 1048576. As we already saw, any number which is ending with 76, how many of our powers we give it to it, it will stay as 76 itself. That is, we put 376 power 10, it still stays as 76 as last two digits. Or 176 power 4, it gives you the last two digits as 76. So how many of our powers we give it, for a number which is ending with 76, it gives the same last two digits that is 76 itself. With this, we are trying to solve this question that is 2 power 148. Can I write it as the nearest number which is divisible by 20? That is the nearest number gives nearest number of 148 which is divisible by 20. So it should be 2 power 140. And can I write it as 2 power 140 into 2 power 8? So this 2 power 140, we know that it is divisible by 20. This can be written as 2 power 20, the whole power 7, into 2 power 8. 2 power 8 should give us the answer as 2 power 1 is 2, 2 power 2 is 4, 2 power 3 is 8, 2 power 4 is 16, 2 power 5 is 32, 2 power 6 is 64, 2 power 7 128, and 2 power 8 is 256. So it gives us the last two digits as 56 here. So we know 2 power 20, the whole power 7, can still give us, a, give us 2 power 20 ends with 76, the last power 2 digits. How much of our power we give it, it stays as 76 itself. So 76 power 7, the last digit still stays as 76. 76 into 56. 56 is a number which is divisible by 4, and I'll get the last two digits as 56 itself. A very simple technique. So we know when I multiply a number, with 76 which is divisible by 4 a number which is divisible by 4 is multiplied with 76 we know the last two digits will be the same number so 56 is divisible by 4 and we know 76 when i multiply it with it we'll get 756 itself as the last two digits so this is how simple it is for us to get to the answer so let's get started with another question so probably we understand this better our next question is uh, 2 power 725 2 power 725. So looking at this, we could understand that 2 power 725, can I write it as 2 power 20 is 1048576. We know that. So 1048576. So it's ending with last two digits as 76 itself. And we know 2 power 725 can be written as 2 power 720 into 2 power 5. 2 power 720 into 2 power 5. And we know 2 power 720 can be written as 2 power 20 the whole power 36 into 2 power 5. 2 power 5 is 32. So 2 power 20 the whole power 76 is 1048576. So it's ending with 76. 76 power 36 into 32. So it's ending with 76 itself. 76 power 36 gives you 76 itself. And 76 into 32 gives us the answer as 76 into 32 gives us the answer as we know 32 is divisible by 4 so the answer is going to be 32 itself a very simple technique and as it goes on we could very easily make it even simple for us maybe another problem so another problem is like uh, we take it as 2 power 124 we know the number when we get it as 2 power the nearest number which is divisible by 20 is going to be 2 power 120 and into 2 power 4. We know 2 power 120 will definitely end with 76 because it can be written as 2 power 20 the whole power 6. We know 2 power 20 is going to be ending with 76 and power 6 gives us the last two digits as 76 itself. So we know the answer is going to be 76 into 16. So with this very easily we could get to the answer as 76 into 16 is going to be 16 itself. 
a very simple technique. As, as we go on with these problems, we will be making it even more simpler for us. So the next question, probably we'll get it into another number, which is apart from two. We'll take it as eight power, eight power uh, one, 321, probably eight power 321. So this can be written as two power three, the whole power 321. So this can be written as two power 963, two power 963, two power 963. So when we write it as two power 963, we know that two power 963 is divisible by two power 20. So we can write it as two power 916 into two power three. So we know this will end with 76 for sure. So 76 into two power three is gonna be zero eight. So answer is going to be 08 for this, it's a very simple question. There will be one more problem so that we understand it even better. So one more question on this, probably we read as 16 power 101, 16 power 101. And we know 16 power 101 is 2 power 4, the whole power 101. So 2 power 4, the whole power 101 as good as 2 power 404. 2 power 404 4, and we know 2 power 20 is going to be 1048576 and 2 power 404 4 can be written as 2 power 400 into 2 power 4 2 power 400 into 2 power 4 can be written as 2 power 400 into 2 power 4 and we know 2 power 400 ends with 76 itself and 2 power 4 is 16 so our answer is going to be 76 into 16 is going to be 16 itself a very simple technique now along with this we have something else which is a surprise for us we found it for all the numbers which are divisible by 2 all the numbers which are divisible by 2 can be done with this method and we are having a surprise for this we can also find it for another number that is 6 power 5 is ending with the value of 6 power 5 is triple seven six triple seven six and this can help us to find problems, the last two digits of the, uh, the numbers which are, uh, which are having 6 bars. We know it's ending with 76. So very obvious here, 6 power 5 is ending with 76. So we know here also the uh, answers are going to be very simple for us to find the answers of 6 power 5. 6 power, I mean 6 in 6 bars. So maybe we'll take a question and we'll try solving it. So we tried solving 6 power 7, 43. And from this, we could understand 6 power 5 is going to give you the last two digits 76. Can be read as 6 power 5, the whole power. 6 power 743 can be written as 6 power 5, the whole power. Uh, sorry, 6 power 740, 740 can be written as uh, 6 power 148. 6 power, 6 power 5, the whole power 148 into 6 power 3 6 power 5 the whole power 148 into 6 power 3 so we know 6 power 5's value is going to be ending with 76 so 76 power 148 into 6 power 3 6 power 1 is 6 6 power 2 is 36 6 power 3 is 216 so it's ending with 16 and we know 76 power 148 will stay as 76 into 16 itself so our answer is going to be 76 into 16 which is going to be 16 again a very simple question just that we we've got used to this technique now so another question on this the next question is 6 power 197 maybe 6 power 197 so 6 power 197 we know that 6 power 5 is uh, 17776 so from this we could say 6 power 195 into 6 power 2 can be the answer because the number should be divisible by Five. So the nearest number divisible by five is going to be six power one ninety five. So six power five's value is triple seven six. So we can write it as six power one ninety five will end with seventy six. Seventy six because six power five the whole power thirty nine is what we'll get. So we'll get it as six power one ninety five will definitely end up anyways in seventy six. So six power two is going to be thirty six. So seventy six into thirty six is going to give us the answer as thirty six itself. A very simple technique. To which we could get to the answer so this is how these questions work and uh, with this we can also uh, find answers of 12 parts 2 parts something 4 parts something 8 32 16 and so on so this 
number makes our calculations and even our uh, even finding the last digits of any big number very easy easy rather than making it complicated so please make sure you guys are uh, practicing this and i thank you very much for the opportunity that you provided me and i would like you guys to like comment and share and subscribe my video and if you have anything that you wish to talk about any issue really wish to tell me you guys can always leave a comment about it thank you so much for your time and patience